Good morning. Okay, I wanted to um, take some time to just show you how to use the Dallas College Library's website for research if you aren't familiar with this. Maybe you're an old pro, you know how to navigate this site, um, you don't have to watch this video. This is just for those of you who need a little bit extra help. I'm going to show you how I find some of my favorite databases and um, how I navigate the databases for research. So I'm just on the Dallas College Libraries page. You can get here from just dallascollege.edu or you can just Google Dallas College Library, which is what I always do, and it'll bring you right here. Now, once you're on this page, you can type your topic into um, to this box and just hit search. And this is going to give you everything that the Dallas College Library has. This is books, this is articles, this is ebooks, this is film, this is things that are public domain. Um, there are 869,000 things here. So this might be a little bit overwhelming. Um, the other thing that you can do is go straight to the databases. If you know um, that I want online sources, not physical books. So just I'm on the Dallas College Library's homepage and under research tools, I'm going to click on Dallas College databases. And here is a list. We have 126 databases. I know that they're doing a little bit of work, so some of these might look a little bit different when you log on. Um, but I'm going to show you um, a couple that I really like. So the first one that I am going to show you is Opposing Viewpoints. Oh, it's going to make me log in or it's going to tell me I'm already logged in. You never know, it's a mystery. Okay, so this is Opposing Viewpoints by Gail, and this is one of my favorite databases, especially for like argumentative or persuasive type essays. And there's a couple of things that you can do with this database. First of all, if you're like, I have no idea what I want to write about, there's this cool little button here that says Browse Issues, and there are literally hundreds of issues that you can look at and um, that all have sort of um, dissenting or opposing viewpoints or, or are argumentative in nature. Um, so we can kind of look through the list. Let's go down and find, um, let's see if they have climate change. global warming and climate change. So I'm going to click on this. Um, and it's brought me to sort of like an overview of the um, issues surrounding global warming and climate change. So I can read this. But then one of the other things that it does is it breaks down um, the different types of sources available. So if I want academic journals um, for my essay, I could click on that. If I wanted audio files or websites or primary sources are going to be things like scientific research, here's news articles, viewpoint essays. A lot of times when you're writing argumentative writing, you have to address the opposing argument. If you're like, I don't understand what the other side believes or why they believe it, you can look at viewpoint essays and see both sides of any issue covered. Maybe you want statistics or videos. Um, so you can pick all sorts of different types of um, sources. Okay, now you can just kind of um, scroll down and look through the different types of sources they have. Let's say, um, let's say I'm going to pick this one. Now, this is a um, journal article. It tells me who wrote it, when it was published, all of that, which will help you cite it. There's an abstract, which gives you like um, a summary of it. And then you can see how long it is, that sort of thing. But there's some cool things that you can do on this database. Um, you can hit this button up here that says cite. And you can copy 
this MLA citation that is perfectly formatted for you. Now you may have to change like the font and the size when you copy and paste it, but here's what it will look like in MLA. Or maybe you're doing it for another class and you need it in APA. So you can kind of um, scroll through that. You can also download it, you can print it, you can get a link to it, you can highlight and take notes on it. Um, and if you click this download button, it just saves you a PDF of the file and then you have it and you don't have to log back in to see it. So this Gale in Context or Opposing Viewpoints database is really cool. It is one of my favorite databases and it is a great place to start. Like I said, if you're like, I don't even know what I want to research, this can be a great place to start. Or if you kind of know generally what you want to talk about, like environmentalism, um, it gives you some different things in that category. Um, so this is just a pretty neat resource. I'm going to go back here. Um, the other one, let's see. I think so we don't need to chat right now. Um, the other one that I want to show you is called Academic one file. Um, this one is going to have, um, it's not necessarily going to be broken down the same way, but you do have like a topic finder and a subject search guide. You can search for specific publications, but um, same thing, you're going to type your um, topic right here. And this one is going to give you mainly um, academic journals. Now there are some other options up here, but this is just kind of um, set up a little bit differently, but you can still see academic journals and you can come over here and be like, I only want the peer reviewed ones. Um, you can mess with the publication date. Maybe I only want stuff published from 2010 to 2015. I'm just looking at Oh, no. Oh, it wants the whole date. Okay. So I'm going to go January 1st, 2010 to December 31st, 2000. What did I say? 2015. And now I can see articles that were just published during that time. Um, you can also look for different document types. You can look for who published it. Um, you can look at different subjects, which is pretty cool. So this also is another great way to find that research that you are looking for online.